morning everybody. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. There is the rabbit hutch we brought home oh, a year and a half or so ago, a year ago. We got for free and I'm happy we have it because there's life in there now. Little tiny baby birds. I can't believe they're maybe a day or two old and they're already exploring. I just released them into the rabbit hutch. They spent the night in the greenhouse in the box they came in. The guineas are very concerned. It's cute. The guineas are incredibly concerned about the babies and the sound they're making. And they're just hanging here on the edge of the cage of their, uh, their area. I put the baby birds next to the guineas so they can rerun the protective electric fence around all of them. Now, I don't know why they're crying because now they can come and go. The rabbits had originally eaten holes in here. I'll probably cover and slide some wood inside here and around this front corner and uh, that'll protect them from, from any drafts here. But they have the entrance there where they can come and go. They have food and water and they have heat. And in here they have an entrance you can see to the original box I cut a hole in. And inside there is light. So uh, I think you can see the light glowing inside there. Let's see if I can get the right angle. I think you can see that the light is on in there and glowing. Yeah, you can see the little red glow. Anyway, they can come and go, and they are using it. And so they can go in where it's warm, come out, and they can get food and water. And some of the brave ones are exploring the larger area. And uh, I couldn't believe they could hop up that high in there. So this is broilers, meat birds, little babies we just picked up from the Amish yesterday. We've got 12 more birds, and uh, they're quite active, really active right now. In and out, in and out, and all around. And I guess they'll cry a little until they get comfortable with their surroundings. But what I like about this is they're high off the ground, and they're protected very well. It's a nice rabbit hutch, actually. I'm very pleased with it. And um, they'll be able to come and explore the larger area, so they have plenty of room to grow here. And this is a double-sided rabbit hutch, so there's a half, there's a dividing line there, and then there's another side which needs repair. The floor is ripped out. The um, hardware netting, hardware, hardware cloth is ripped on the floor of that one, which I'll fix. But I don't know if we'll ever have two batches of birds at one time like this, but it sure is good to be able to use it if needed. The rubber roofing is shot while I was opening and closing and using it. It ripped because it's very aged and dry rotted. Oops, sorry. So I'll get some more um, material on here before it rains in a while. It's going to rain in a little while. But wow, the guineas are upset. They're very concerned. So we got 12 little babies. And um, the electric fence... I've got it all sitting here, I'm gonna rerun it. Actually, the chickens are concerned as well. I'm gonna rerun the electric fence around everything to include the rabbit hutch. And there's the wire going in for the light. It's only four watts, so it's running purely off solar power at this time. Well, day and night, it's all it's gonna need. Out here, the meat birds are lounging and enjoying their final days, weeks. They've only got a couple weeks left, I think. Um, you can see where they, you can see where they've eaten the ground up. Every two days we move them, and they mow down the grass almost to nothing where they can reach it, and they fertilize the soil. So they're dual purpose. They're eating bugs. They're mowing down the lawn, and they're triple purpose. They're fertilizing the soil. And if you want to count what their final purpose is, it's four uses, because they're going in the pot later on. These are broilers, and they're, they're strong. These are a strong, healthy bunch. They're just enjoying the fresh air. I've got to get the lids back on there. I keep the two pieces of sheet metal on, and uh, in the morning, it's very simple to move this. I move the fence over a ways, reset the fence, then I set up their new food and water, open their gate, and they go run into the new section. And then I move their cage, and I can do all that alone in the morning. No problem. Every two days we move them and uh, give them new 
grass and new area to uh, eat and fertilize for us. And in a, next year we're going to have very nice grass here again because of the birds fertilizing the soil. It's perfect. It's really good the way it works all the way around. So we'll run them down to the back of the land and then bring them back forwards again and uh, fertilize their soil. Now it'll take probably um, and a couple batches of birds to do the whole front property like that but it's pretty cool the little ones that are out back won't be ready to go outdoors until these ones are gone and the timing of that is perfect because then they'll be able to come into here into our good old chicken tractor that we've used for years now this is our third year here with this chicken tractor and uh, it works very very well for us now I'd like to put aluminum siding on this, which I have, and uh, handles and wheels, which I'll have. I, I have to get all that done. Now, the only problem I had with this last year, we didn't use it because an oak tree had fallen on it and uh, smashed it up a bit. But we fixed it this spring and got our meat birds, and uh, I had to patch a broken board. Other than that, it's holding up well. That's the one we made out of pallet wood. Uh, crates. Uh, Small engine crates, I believe it was, from the hardware store we got for free. Pretty good. Holding out well. I hope it keeps holding. I hope it lasts. It's um, looks pretty good so far. So there's our meat birds getting ready. Oh, another week or two. They're pretty big, but I'd like them a little bit bigger than that before we take them in. Organic. The food is from the Amish, and they make it themselves. Well, it's not certified organic, okay, but um, they get the fresh grass and bugs. They get exercise. You can see our birds walk around. Actually, they can run and fly. They're very healthy birds, and uh, there's no injuries here. No broken legs, no, no, look, they're scratching. They're doing what chickens love to do. They're just enjoying life to its fullest. They're very happy, healthy birds. So, uh, got no problems. The food is made by the Amish, and it's cheaper actually than the normal feed stores, which I like. And, um, yeah, that's it. Well water. Can't get any pure and cleaner than that. So, I've got to still put the top on for the day, but I just wanted to show you how this works. Well, that's a chicken update for now. The broilers. Just wanted to get this brief update for you. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project on the Off-Grid Homestead, which we're trying to clean up, get the truck put away, and we got multiple gardens this year and multiple solar panel sets this year, uh, three sets of solar panels and mini miniature panels everywhere else. We've got, got Melly's got a garden there and there, and I've got the garden there and the greenhouse there, and I got the orchard back there. We've got herbs in different places all over, flower beds all over, greenhouse out back. We've really spread out and diversified our, our growing habitats to see what does best this year. So yeah, we're striving to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid. Talk to you all later.